Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DJ Mojo, Saving the City, one party at a time. Today is August 7, 2021. Welcome to another video here on my YouTube channel. And in this video, I'll be sharing with you behind the scenes and some highlights of JR's and Guada's wedding here at Ethereal Gardens in Escondido. It's a beautiful day out here in Southern California. I've worked at this venue many times and I'm excited to officially film and vlog and document what it's like to have a wedding here at Ethereal Gardens. Those people who are potentially interested in checking out this venue or potentially having your wedding here, or maybe you're a DJ just trying to figure out the lay of the land, see what it's like. I'll share with you some of my thoughts about this venue since I've worked here many times or different locations to have your ceremony and just different configurations. I'm excited to share with you just a little bit behind the scenes that you normally don't see anywhere else. So hope this video finds helpful. Once again, I'm DJ Mojo. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, DJ underscore Mojo to see more of my work. But other than that, let's get to it. Let me show you around the venue. So just want to give you an idea, if you're planning to have your wedding here at Ethereal Gardens, there are different locations where you can have your wedding ceremony. Today for JR and Guada, we had their wedding ceremony at the Meadow. Up there, we have another place where couples like to have their wedding ceremony. We call that the Grotto. And there's another location um, inside the barn. Those are the three locations that I've had provided my ceremony services. Uh, just to give an idea for the people who don't know exactly what DJs do, we wanna make sure that the sound and the music and the voices are amplified for your guests, especially if it's like 10 or plus people. We wanna make sure that everyone can hear everything that's going on so that way they can engage and, and really be a part of the couple's wedding day. And also, it's been helpful for the videographers to capture their audio as well. All three plays are great it really depends on your style but those are the ceremony locations you can have here at ethereal gardens and also for the cocktail hour we usually have it in the back lawn over there. Sometimes we have cocktail hour inside, but we like to have the guests just have a great time by the bar inside the building. And then sometimes we have some lawn games out in the big lawn back there. And then where I'm standing right now is the reception area where we do have this tent, which is nicely lit. And there's also the option to close the sides of the tent for those winter months when, when things get cold and they provide heaters just to keep all your guests warm. What's really cool about this venue as well is that you can have different table configurations. I've seen many shapes and uh, layouts. It really depends up to you, but I think what, one of the things that they're known for here is the the long table settings. In case you want that for your dinner reception, you can have that here, but talk to the staff here at Ethereal Gardens. One thing I, I should also mention is that we have this huge dance floor in the middle, which is really great. So that way more people have room to dance and have a great time. And today I'm using my video DJ booth that I recently have been rolling out at my events starting 2021. So excited for my video booth because now I can not just play music, but I can also visually engage with your audience and with the crowd. I can display images of the bride and groom. I could have different graphics. I can play some video. I also mix music videos. It really gets that awe factor and gets people excited to see, wow, it's not just music, but there's visual elements with that too. So this is the Ethereal Gardens here in Escondido. I hope I shared with you some of my experience and just the layout and everything, but the coordinators and the staff here are great. They know exactly what they're doing and they do many weddings a year, so you definitely have things covered. Cocktails wrapping up. We're about to invite guests in. I'll do my best to capture some highlights, but hope you're enjoying the video so far. Let me know your thoughts. Maybe give this video a thumbs up so far or leave any comments down below. But let's continue on. I'll be sharing with you some dancing and just some fun time. So stay around with me.
Hey, it's Joe again. We are all done here for Guada and JR's wedding here at Ethereal Gardens. It is about 10.40 right now. The wedding ended at 10 p.m. Uh, we finished the, the night strong with a fun remix of The Killers, Mr. Brightside. But as you can see in the footage, they had a great time. We had people dancing. We had some kids who were dancing on the dance floor. We had some of the adults, and then we also finished strong with their friends and family. I had a great time, as always, here at Ethereal Gardens. So JR and Guada, thank you so much for having me as your DJ. That concludes tonight's wedding celebration. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I leave your thoughts down in the comment section below, but I definitely recommend Ethereal Gardens if you are looking for an outdoor venue here in the San Diego area. It's owned by Trademark and there's other venues as well. Maybe I can leave some videos of the other places where I've DJed. I've, I've been at Twin Oaks, I've been at Green Gables, Tivoli and Botanica, just to name a few. It's been an incredible time here. We're wrapping things up. It's time to head back to the hotel. We have another wedding tomorrow at Twin Oaks. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at DJ underscore Mojo for more behind the scenes and for more of my work. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. I'm DJ Mojo, saving the city one party at a time, and I'll see you in my next video.